I really thought the blue Doritos team was going to win after they got the red Doritos team's video guideline strike. But in the end, the red team ended up winning. It's a comeback of the century. Me personally, I like to mix my red and blue Doritos together. A ton of you guys have been asking me how I edit my videos, and honestly, my process is really simple. Since the beginning, I've used an iPhone app. I used to use iMovie, but now I use an app called InShot, and I use this to edit all of my TikToks, all of my YouTube videos, literally everything. So this just proves you can get started with literally any device, and you don't need some fancy $1,000 computer to make TikToks or YouTube videos. So many of you guys ask me if I've ever cried at Subway. My initial reaction to this question is, what kind of a question is this? I'm in Subway, I'm not in some rom-com, but then I realized, aha, I do cry at Subway. And it's because of the onions. Cutting onions make me cry without a doubt every single time that I cut them. But a little life hack, if you're ever cutting onions, just walk into the walk-in freezer and your tears instantly dry up. Today, for the first time ever, I had a customer come in and he ordered a cookie sub. I'm gonna be honest, I never had anybody come in and ever order something like this, but I've made it plenty of times for TikTok. So when he came in and told me that he wanted a cookie sub, I was kinda stunned. So I put every type of cookie onto the sandwich for him and I actually burned my hands trying to take it out of the oven. And I rang it up for him and it was like seven bucks, I hope you enjoy your cookie sub. One of my most asked questions since I started TikTok is whether or not Subway is halal. As of right now, 1 in 10 Subways are halal across the United States and the UK. But every single Subway has halal options. For example, the Veggie Delight. And if you don't know what halal means, it basically means a way of prescribing the meat in a certain way for religious purposes. I hope that answers your question. One of the many ways that I like to get my mind off of everything is to play mini hoop basketball in my room. It might not seem like much, but this little hoop and this little ball takes my mind off of literally the entire world for a few minutes. Whenever I'm feeling stressed or I feel like I have a deadline to meet with school or even TikTok or YouTube and stuff, I literally just pick up the ball and start shooting. Yo, and honestly, it kind of translates to real life basketball. I've noticed my shot get a little bit better. I showed you guys my PC and a lot of you guys started asking me for a room tour, so I figured why not just show you guys, right? We got my PC with my two monitor setup and my TV right above it. These all sit on top of my desk and there's not really much to my room. I'm gonna be honest, I had to clean up my room for this video. It's not usually this clean. And then I got my closet and my favorite part of my room is my bed and then all the paintings on the wall. And yeah, that's literally about it. Guys, this is my last week of picking your sandwiches from the comment section and making them on Subway's TikTok account. It's been a very fun adventure, but now you guys gotta tell me for one last time what kind of sandwiches you guys get. If I pick you, you already know I make your sub, I eat it, I review it on the Subway TikTok account. And I wanna say thank you guys for an amazing series. Thank you to Subway for having me for these five weeks. And let me know if you guys enjoyed this entire series. I had an overwhelming amount of you guys tell me to go back to using my old microphone and I'm gonna be honest It's a little bit harder to use this to make consistent TikToks But if that's what you guys want, that's what I have to do So now I'm using my old microphone again Might as well use this beast, right? I mean, I paid this much money for it, so I gotta just use it Hopefully this makes you guys happy and it makes me happy knowing you guys are happy Me and my brother would always get in fights as a kid over what flavor of Doritos is better So if you're seeing this, you're on Team Blue Doritos Also known as a Cool Ranch Doritos So if you're seeing this on your For You page, you gotta make sure your team wins by interacting with this post any way you can Me and my brother would always get in fights as a kid over what type of Dorito is better So if you're seeing this, you're on Team Red Doritos Also known as the Nacho Cheese Doritos So if this is on your For You page, you gotta make sure your team wins by interacting with this post any way you can a lot of you guys keep asking me if I play any video games, and I literally only play Valorant on PC. And I'm going to say right now, I'm not very good, but I try my best. So sometimes I have customers that come into the store, and they'll see me with my fans, who I always give a free cookie to, because they're always like, oh, Malad, I watch your content, I support, and we, like, have a full-on conversation. But usually there will be people in line that come afterwards that are like, so, do, do I get a free cookie? I'm just like, yeah, you know what? You get a free cookie. You get a free cookie. Free cookies for everybody, because why not, right? I'm not gonna lie, some of the sandwiches we make at Subway are a lot harder to make than others. And the hardest sandwich to make on the menu is easily the Veggie Delight with all the veggies and a few sauces on it. You know, making the sandwich itself isn't actually that hard. It's pretty simple. You just toss veggies onto bread. But closing the sandwich up is such a struggle, I have to say. A lot of people like to use the knife to close the sandwich, but I'm never really a big knife closing guy. But somehow I always manage. A ton of you guys had no idea that Subway has pizza, so let me inform you. The pizzas at Subway are literally killer. You can get whatever toppings you want onto it. I like to make a nice little barbecue chicken pizza, but this person just got a plain cheese pizza. They're personal size, so you could pretty easily demolish these things, and the best part is they're not that expensive at all. 
A few weeks back, a woman walked into Subway in a really, uh, well, not a good mood, if I'm being honest. So I tried talking to her, and she had told me that her mother had passed away two weeks ago. I felt so sorry for her, and I tried talking her through it. At one point, I told her that her mother will always be there with her, whether she knows it or not, because the impact she had on her life will never leave her, so she'll be there no matter what. The woman started crying to me, and I almost cried too. People always ask me how I have so many stories to tell, but I think in reality, I just look at life in a certain way. You can make a story out of literally anything you want. I mean, we have stories that happen every single day in our lives. You just have to be paying attention to what's going on around you and kind of take self notes about it. For example, I could probably tell a pretty elaborate story about this person ordering a plain sandwich. So using your phone at work really depends owner to owner, but at my store, you're 100% allowed to use it. You can use it to listen to podcasts or watch YouTube videos while you're doing your work, but you can't just sit there and scroll TikTok all day. And you definitely can't use it while you're making customer subs, but it's good for background noise and music. So many old friends come to the subway now and enjoy themselves a delicious sandwich made by yours truly. And it's always so amazing when I have old friends come in because it's like taking a trip down memory lane. Even though we've both gotten so much older and so much more wise, there's still a great connection there. Thanks for coming, Danny and Steve. A fellow named Peter sent me a mystery package to the store, so I thought I'd open it here on TikTok. Inside the package, he gave me two chocolate eggs that had a bunch of caramel Swiss chocolates and two snow globes, which were really nice and from Switzerland. He also sent me a letter with it, and he made a YouTube video for me of him making his own sandwich titled Thank You Milad. Thanks, Peter. It feels like every single day our store is just getting busier and busier. And it's crazy because the customers are now the people who watch my TikToks and YouTube videos. Thank you guys for coming in and supporting my parents' business. I love you guys so much. And you already know if you come into Subway and I'm serving you and you know me, I give you a free cookie. I have so many people every single day comment and DM me about how my videos just make them smile. And this is literally my favorite part about creating content on the internet. And I think if you're a content creator, this is something you should focus on so much. I can't believe something as small as making a sandwich and just talking over the microphone can make somebody smile and make their day a little better. That's what I love most about this world and I think that's what more people should aspire to do. For some reason, you guys really want to know what my height is. And in person, a lot of people always tell me that I'm taller than they expected. I think this is because my camera hangs around my chest rather than up high where my head is. So it definitely looks like I'm shorter through these videos. But in person, I am 5 foot 11. I know it's not 6 foot, but hey, maybe one day. And at least I didn't lie. People are always asking how much I make from tips in a typical shift. Today I worked about 9 hours and in cash I got 55 bucks and on the credit card machine I got 35. But it wasn't always like this before TikTok. Honestly, I got like $10 a shift. Some people feel satisfied driving exotic cars. Some people feel satisfied by drawing and doing portraits. Some people even feel satisfied by making or watching people make subs, but I feel satisfied by cutting boxes. And I have no idea why. I mean, just cutting up boxes and folding them, it's just so satisfying to me for some reason. And to me, this is completely proven that the simpler things in life rule all. To be happy in life, all you need is a couple boxes to cut. Today I hit a million subscribers on YouTube and all I could say is thank you guys so much. 24 days ago I literally had 5,000 subscribers on YouTube and now I have 1 million on YouTube. That's crazy. So if you guys are ever bored and want some extra Milad content, be sure to check out my YouTube account. My dad really liked the sliders at Subway when they used to have them, but they discontinued them in the past. So he decided to make his own today, and I wanted to show you guys what he made on TikTok. They actually look really good. So I made a little slider with some turkey and pepperoni on it, and then a little cheese and some veggies. And like a lot of things in life, these sliders might look small, but they pack a huge punch. I eat a lot usually, but these sliders really help with portion control, so try them out. Happy Easter, everybody. It's pretty dead at Subway today because it's Easter, so I decided I'd make a nice little pretzel out of Subway ingredients. I used the Subway dough that we use for bread, and then I drizzled some oil onto it because we don't really have butter at Subway. And then I salted this nice little pretzel up, and then we tossed it into the oven at 350 degrees for a few minutes. The end result was so delicious. Oh, man, I loved it. The other day I had a family come in and the parents were both deaf and the son was translating for both of them. Moments like these are my favorites at Subway because as little as a sandwich might seem, the family just felt so happy to be in that Subway and getting food. And when I gave the boy a free cookie, oh man, I haven't seen a smile that big in so long. I love it.
I'm trying my best to please everybody. People said don't waste gloves. Now people are saying don't use the same gloves. After I put that tomato into the canister, there was a cut, as you would notice. And I went and I washed my gloves off with water. Y'all complain about the smallest things, but if you go to your local pizza shop, they're literally using their bare hands. I literally keep my stores clean as possible. Please just stop complaining.